our faculty, Dr. Ajay Singh Hada. So uh, over to uh, Dr. Ajay Singh. Ajay Raj Singh. So Saheb Singh, you can just go ahead with your presentation. Just share your presentation, please. Uh, can you hear me? Saheb Singh? Uh, Dimeshi, we are not getting audio from the class. Uh, sir, I am also not able to even see the class and the audio, sir. There is, uh, the Saheb Singh is there, Dr. Ajay Hada is there, but we are not getting the audio. Dr. Ajay's the audio is uh, uh, muted, and Saheb Singh is not muted, but he is not speaking. Even, sir, I have made both uh, co-hosts also. Yes, sir, is uh, Dr. Ajay, you are muted again. Yes. Hello. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. What is the problem? Sir, there is some network issue. Okay, okay. So, presentation is not started. Okay. He's trying to solve the problems. It will take some time, four to three minutes. Okay. Ah, all right. So, this is probably our... We have almost completed, I think, 150 presentations uh, till now. And uh, SMS Medical College Department of Virology is uh, having teaching classes regularly, almost more than one and a half year now. And since we have shifted to the new block, uh, the network is a little problem. So, to whether there is not problem. Yes, please go ahead with your presentation. Yes. Yes, we can see the presentation. Go ahead, Dr. Saheb. Yeah, 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 your presentation is there. Your okay. voice, please, voice, please. Go ahead. Voice proper, voice, please.
हाँ बेटा If you think the problems are continuing, we will stop the recording. Bol. You are getting the voice. Yes. You are not starting. Start. Please start. Good morning, sir. पास में लाओ माइक थोड़ा पास में लेकर आओ माइक पास में माइक पास में गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीवन रेस्पेक्टेड सिविल सर अदर फैकल्टी एंड सीनियर्स एंड कलीग्स एंड जूनियर्स टुडे आई विल शेयर विद यू टुडे ऑन अ एस सेमिनार ऑन एक्टिविटी रिलेटेड टू कोचिंग एंड अदर एक्टिविटीज ए कांटेक्ट इज प्रोफेसर
The both uh, ectopic ureter and the uh, uh, are usually present in a uh, early childhood, but uh, also present, uh, but, but it's uh, having the late presentation also in a teen and adult. In a late presentation are usually associated with the infection or abdominal pain and rarely the incontinence. It's uh, usually little or no function of the affected renal moiety in most cases. So the most appropriate management is upper pole nephrectomy. After the clinical presentation, the next step is evaluation. It can be anatomic, functional, or endoscopic. In anatomic assessment, in anatomic assessment, uh, the physical examination, in physical examination, the examination of the abdomen, the flank may be possible in relaxed infant, but difficult in folders. <clears throat> Interlibial uh, mass. Uh, which can be uh, found in a uh, genital examination, which uh, uh, suggests, which may be suggesting uterocele collapse. In a uh, ectopic uh, uteral orifice, which is present in the vestibule, as shown in this uh, uh, picture, uh, the upper uh, arrow is uh, depict uh, the uh, uteral uh, uteric orifice, and lower uh, arrow uh, represent the Designer and uh, in between the orifices, this ectop ectopic uteral orifice. <clears throat> this picture uh, uh, Gardner uh, duct cyst in a newborn with a left uh, multicystis plastic kidney. The uh, a, a, a dilated uh, uh, is present in the vagina and overlying the orifice. In this orifice, when they inject the uh, contrast, which uh, communicate with the ureter, it suggests the ectopic ureter. Another anatomic tool is ultra ultrasonography. Uh, the, in ultrasonography, there is no characteristic above the bladder that permits the differentiation between the dilated ectopic ureter and uterus. So therefore, the bladder images become critically important. The bladder view reveal a thin wall cystic dilatation within the bladder, not extending beyond its wall. This is a renal bladder. Uh, this is a ultrasonographic renal images. It is showing the dilated upper tract, uh, is showing the dilated uh, upper pole and normal lower pole in a uterocele patient. This, this is a, another uh, uh, ultrasonography renal image. It is showing the dilated upper pole and also dilated lower pole in a patient of uterocele. This uh, dilated lower pole is because of the compression of the upper pole. This is a uh, ultrasonography bladder images. We're showing the uh, thin wall. We're showing the thin wall uh, cystic dilatation, which suggests the uterus. This is a, another bladder uh, UHG images. Uh, UHG image, uh, which suggests the ectopic ureter because the uteric wall is thicker and uh, and outside the bladder. Another uh, another tool is uh, MR uh, urography. MR urography is used when the imaging cannot define the complex anatomy. <clears throat> this is an axial view of the MR, and uh, uh, this is a MR uh, uh, MR uh, imaging uh, societal view, which defines the complex anatomy of a child with a ectopic ureter associated with the dysplastic kidney. And uh, this is uh, uh, this is connected to the vagina, which, uh, and this vagina is filled with the uh, urine, and this vagina is connected with the uterus, so also filled with the urine. <clears throat> so in this way, we can delineate the complex anatomy by the MR urography. This is an axial view, which uh, demonstrates this is an axial view in MR urography, which demonstrates the presence, presence of the occult upper pole associated with the ectopic uh, ureter, uh, which is. Uh, uh, missed in the CT scan. Functional uh, nest, uh, after the anatomical assessment, the nest is a functional assessment. The uh, functional assessment is a foundation for both the initial management and post-operative care. The radionucleoid renal imaging is a gold standard for the renal function assessment, which is best provided by the DMSS 
amazing. This is a uh, this is a DMSA renal scan of a uh, uterine patient, <coughs> uh, which uh, uh, showing the uh, upper pole. Uh, this, uh, there, uh, there is no function in the upper pole, but uh, after the transurethral incision, uh, the upper pole function is regained. In a repeat DMSA renal scan. <coughs> The another investigation is intravenous pyelography. Uh, intravenous pyelography. So uh, this uh, hydronephrotic upper pole uh, displaces the lower pole uh, downward and outward. Uh, downward and out outward is looking like the drooping lily. So it's also known as drooping lily sign. In a uh, which uh, 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 suggestive of the UTC. This is another uh, intravenous pyelography base of a child, uh, so, <clears throat> of a child, which showing the uh, the <clears throat> upper pole uh, non dilated uh, system, and the distal ureter can be seen in passing. Uh,
after the uh, proper uh, complete evaluation move on to the management the management goal for the uh, for the ectopic or uterocele are the preservation of the renal function elimination of the infection elimination of the obstruction and elimination of the reflux and maintenance of the urinary continence <coughs> Uh, in a management, uh, there is an ob observational option, which is uh, <coughs> used in a selected patient with a parental education. Uh, the indication are no obstruction of the ipsilateral uh, lower pole or contralateral kidney and limited re reflux to lower pole, a uh, great third or less the, of the or if the no function of the upper pole. And uh, in this case, or in observational option, there is always a possibility of the predictable acute presentation. Another uh, treatment approach is acute to decompression. Do you For the acute decompression, are the uterocele producing the bladder outlet obstruction or severe by bilateral upper tract obstruction, or if the patient comes with a severe uh, urosepsis uh, uro or sepsis not responding to the appropriate therapy? Uh, the acute uh, decompression is achieved uh, by the transurethral incision in case of the uterocele or is end uterostomy uh, near the bladder in case of the ectopic ureter. Sir, we have also, um, uh, we can do also the PCN, but uh, we prefer the temporary uh, uterus tomy, not that. Yes, and uh, uterus tomy, which is uh, temporary. Uh, temporary and uterus tomy, but so what is the complication end of the uterus tomy? The complication of the uterus tomy is 50%. Right. What happens in a urethrostomy, sometimes you can get the stenosis, right? And then they can be, you know, again, urethrostomy becomes obstructive, and then it's an added surgical procedure. So, I mean, wherever you have taken this and end urethrostomy, end urethrostomy is not an easy case. It's better to do a PCA inside a child. What is your source? Sir, Campbell. Huh? Campbell. Where in Campbell? Sir, the chapter of. You have to show me this because now people are not doing an end user first. It's too cumbersome, it's too complicated, it's complicated in such a way. So, in uh, definitely surgical options uh, for the ectopic urator, the common seeds uh, replantation or uter uh, and uh, uter uterus forming. And for the uterocele, the trans uh, uh, uteral incision and uh, uterocele excision, and the common seal is a replantation, and that is uter uterus forming. The ureter uterus forming is there for a topic ureter where the ureter uterus forming. Sir, in a duplex system. Huh? In a, a duplex system. In a duplex system. The total uh, reconstruction at the level of both uh, at the level of upper tract and uh, lower tract as well. Uh, the ideal candi uh, candidate for the total reconstruction re re is the older child with a massive uterocele and the no function of the upper pole with a significant lower pole reflux. So this is achieved by the upper pole uh, nephrectomy with uh, uterocele excision and reimplantation of the lower pole ureter. This is performed with the two incision and the potential success rate was good. The upper pole partial or hemi nephrectomy is, is uh, uh, indicated when the clearly no function in the upper pole. The lower tract uh, reconstruction, which is suitable for both the ectopicuritan and uterocele. And the technique uh, is a uterocele excision and common seed uh, reimplantation. The advantage is just to relieve the obstruction as well as the correct the uh, reflux. 
utostomy or pilo utostomy is uh, anastomosis between the upper pole ureter and lower pole ureter in an end to end fashion and to side fashion and proximal anterior approaches are used the proximal anastomosis may be preferable to the distal uh, utostomy because it later may result in the <coughs> old urinary stasis with the distal anastomosis so proximal anastomosis preferred transurethral incision of the uterocele this is simplest means to decompress the obstructed upper pole or <coughs> single system uterocele the reported rate of the relief of the obstruction ranges from 78 to 97% and transurethral incision and multiple puncture <coughs> also known as water can technique so no no difference in the decompression rate although the multiple puncture is due the less reflux in setting of the acute sepsis uh, the <coughs> down serial incision is most appropriate intervention while the uh, pcl is an alternate <coughs> viable option the incise uh, puncture as distally as possible in transurethral incision the puncture or incision should be as distally as possible and as close to bladder floor as possible to limit the post operative reflux the incision uh, should be the full thickness of the uterocele wall if the seco uterocele in case of the seco uterocele the consider long long tunnel incision from intervesical portion uh, down to the uterocele portion <coughs> it can also make two separate uh, puncture one can be intervesical or uterocele portion <coughs> the endoscopic image the endos this is the endoscopic image of the uh, endos endoscopic image uh, during the transurethral incision uh, in which uh, the uh, incision uh, given by the hook uh, cautery and the incision should be the inferiorly and medially to limit the risk of the reflux as i mentioned earlier <coughs> the reflux outcome after the transurethral incision the reported cure rate is 55.6% uh, with the single system uterocele and 14.9% with the duplex system uterocele and uh, uh, the new reflux uh, ranges from the 0 to 50% associated with the uh, transurethral incision uh, this is a uh, summary of the uh, management in case of the ectopic ureter and uterocele management after the uh, uterocele and uh, ectopic ureter uh, discussion and the other utero uh, uterocele most important we discussed that this type of options of uterocele management is the most important thing because it focuses on this like in ectopic ureter uh, in ectopic uh, ureter the treatment options are the uh, duplex system the ectopic ureter with the duplex system with uh, reflux the options are common see the reimplantation or the lower pore reimplant reimplantation with the distal upper and to lower uterus uh, uterus uterostomy and with no reflux uh, the treatment option is, uh, is a proximal or distal uterus uterostomy <coughs> if the duplex system is massively dilated then we go for the temporary and ut uterostomy <coughs> and uh, with uh, ectopic ureter single system uh either we preserve this uh, system or we excise based on the function of the system or surgeon preference and uh, in a uterocele man uh, management option the uh, these are the uh, transurethral incision upper pole nephrectomy and uterostomy uterocele excision or common seal reimplantation the indication are the indication for the transurethral incision uh, is infants or large uterocele with <coughs> vua or uh, reflex and uh, upper pole uh, nephrectomy the indications in the lower uh, indicated in the lower patient and large non functioning upper pole with uh, no vesicular uh, reflux and uh, utero uterostomy indications in the indications are the older patient and functioning upper pole and no vesicular uh, reflux and uh, in a uterocele excision and common seat reflux the indications are the uh, when uh, reflux is present or when the function of our pole without significant dilatation so limitations of ureter ureter proximal ureter pilostomy you have written that it may develop reflux how does it develop reflux and what is the time of this reflux 
The other neutral anomalies, the anomalies of the number, vascular anomalies. So just uh, uh, 10 or 15. Uh, thank you, everybody. So today, because there was some delay in starting the presentation, we will <coughs> stop the presentation now here. I thank you all for joining this session and have a good day.